Hello, back again. Uh, my second tutorial about Blender. Um, today we want to speak about uh, properties in Blender. That is this one here. There are much important values uh, to set or to change uh, things. So, we begin at the first. The first is the rendering. The rendering is the same um, as your camera in real or a um, video camera in real. You can render, make a picture or render an animation. It's like the video cam or audio. Okay. So this one is for um, fast um, graphic cards. Yeah. Then you can uh, use a GPU for um, rendering. It's faster. Uh, and normally it renders with the CPU. Okay, um, the first thing we see here is the dimension. Um, here you can change your resolution from the screen. Yeah, uh, it's now 50% per that is bad. We use 100 and that's um, an HD. Um, yeah, resolution. You know, uh, and good. Um, that is for animation times, and that's the frame rate. So you can change it all there. Uh, here we see um, the output uh, channel where this uh, the directory where this render goes in. Yeah, okay. You see black and white, RGB, or with alpha. And so, freestyle. I don't use it before. I don't know what it is. Uh, sampling is important. We are in cycles. Cycles um, use uh, use samplings, and um, that is how fine is the picture that you make. Um, 125 is enough uh, for a good picture. Um, the preview is 10, so you see uh, the quality. Okay, um, clamp indirectly is uh, good. Um, this 003 uh, for take flyerfice way. Yeah. Okay, volume sampling is when you want to make fog or something else. Light passes um, are for the advanced users. That are the bounces from the light goes there and there and the reflections and um, yeah and caustics so um it's for the advanced users blur also advanced uh film is interesting there's transparency then the gray background uh is gone and you have an alpha channel there that's nice so the performance that is um, the auto detection of your CPUs. Uh, I have eight CPUs, so it's good. Or you can uh, say I want to use only what I know seven or so. Um, then it is not so heavy with the errors uh, when you uh, make with other programs similarly. Okay. <sighs> Center is um, when you render something that is not all there in a second. Uh, he renders also little parts, and here you can say how big is that part. Okay, post processing is um, the compositing that's uh, advanced. Uh, baking is advanced too. So we had now the completely render. Okay, next one. Next one is the scene. All that we see here is a scene. All in there is a scene. So um, we can render separate layers in a scene, but that is at once too. So you have luck, we can go further. This from scene 2. 
Here you can um, give them units, uh, a metric system or a planner system or something else that you can build um, objects in real world size. For that is good to give them a metric uh, for the scale there for this grid. Okay. Uh, gravity is for the animations. Um, that's uh, not so important now because it is advanced. Okay. Next one is, is the world. The world I said it to you is the background here. What do you see here? Uh, it's in the moment is gray. You can change it uh, where you want. You can make it red or something. You can't see that in the moment um, because that is not the, the real render. This was a um, uh, solid mode. But in the render mode, you see that and so on. Um, you can put here, when you click on this little button pin here, you can take an environment uh, texture and uh, make there some good stuff in the background, um, like uh, trees or water or something else. So we try something, this one. So now we see nothing because we are, have it not rendered. God, um, but it's not so important. Uh, so you have here in preview from it. That is the normal environment texture that I loaded in. Okay. Um, the rest is also advanced, like this one, that are the object data, there you can see this location, the scale and so on. Um, here you can display the name from an object and explain uh, the, the axis, the wire, you can plant all in or out. And the rest is all uh, stuff for advanced. You know it. Okay. Constraints. Constraints are rules. Rules for objects and her data. You can copy the location from one object and give it to another. You can also copy the rotation, the scale, the transforming. You can limit them and so on. That are, you see, like a chain what's um, binded to another object yeah uh it's later is it important but not now that is one that i use every day that are modifiers modifiers are little programs that can um, deform or generate um, objects here you see an array that is a function that allows to make um, more than one object. You can say I want 10 from this one and you have 10. But you must model only one. That's a good one. Um, bevel is to round the edges. Boolean is um, to cut out something and so on. This all we will, um, I, I will make a tutorials about that. Um, some are easy, some are heavy, some are not very clever. <laughs> we will see it. Okay, but it's advanced. Um, this one is um, for vertex groups. Vertex are the points, I said it to you. It is one word, it's one point. And um, you can group them, you can shape them, I should use shapes for that. Um, or you can um, make UV maps, um, I saw it before, uh, that is um, advanced too. So, that is the importance, it's the material. When you have a cube, you can give them materials. We are now in the edit mode. You can go there with tap. And in the material mode, uh, in the edit mode, you can select here a face. 
this face uh, and give them a material. You say new material, give the name material one, so and assign that. Now we have here white, we can make it red. We must here use the right one to see that. Now it's all red. We take a second material, new blue, and give them a blue material, and say this one should be blue assigned. So, so you can make all materials or textures or something else on different parts of an object. Um, your own, own, you can say too that you want it in glossy or in glass or something else. That are the shaders, it's called shaders, that are effects for materials like glass, glossy, or diffuse, or more, 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 more. There are much, but it's an art to. Um, make that right yeah uh, so we come to that later you know it okay uh, displacement is to 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 to, to up um, uh, to get out of a form some other forms that come out um, like veins or something yeah okay then we have here the textures textures are pictures that you can plug in um, and um, use them on faces or something else. The last is parti parti particle system. Sorry for that. Uh, particle system are very much points that you can animate for rain or snow or or for hair. You can make make it when you uh, set it here to hair. Uh, or a meter then it emits the points there are much much options it's a good uh, system you can make boards too you can make fish groups with that or, 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 or birds that fly and give them rules how they fly and so on it's um, heavy to seem uh, it's not so easy uh, to get at all so it's advanced you're right mm, the last one is the physics um, the yeah, it's for making water or clothes. Uh, simulations. You can say that should be uh, unclosed. Then it falls down like clothes. No problem. Or make it fluid or smoke or fire. You can all do that with Blender with this type of settings. Good. Um, I think it's enough for today. You can look in them all and try a little bit here is preview there you can see how your material looks that you build uh, don't forget for materials you got a note editor but um, that is one of our next um, tutorials um, first you must know all about windows and all about the symbols and what is where and when you all know from this from the desktop then we can start to model okay um, so we see us uh, thanks a lot bye